What's up, everyone, and welcome to Battle Box. Yes, you heard right. We took a long break, and we're back, and we're back for good. Here are your trending topics. Congratulations to Fina for winning the Big Brother Nigeria Level Up season. Woo, she won all that money. Fina won. It was an exciting moment for everyone, including the housemates and everyone who voted for her. Uh, but one thing I'm trying to figure out with Fina is there's still a little bit of triangle that I still see that it's going on. And I'm trying to figure out what's going to happen with that triangle. The triangle between Groovy, Beauty, and Fina. Yes, I did mention Beauty. And that's because Beauty left the house without even getting that opportunity to say what's on her mind. And now the Fina one, obviously, Groovy becomes that boyfriend. And who knows, she might actually take him to Dubai. And I'm trying to figure out if maybe now that she won, Beauty will have time to actually sit down with Groovy and Fina since they were friends to discuss what really happened and why she took Groovy from her. And during the presentation of the gift, I was wondering what happened to Shags and Bella. We saw in the house, people were not happy with the way Shags was actually, you know, talking to Bella. Abel got himself even asked, what happened? Why are you talking to her like that? Is that a love language? Bella wasn't sure, but we want to kind of get, trying to see what's going on. But what we're trying to figure out now is what's going on between Bella and Shags now that the family, um, the family members are involved now, would they let Bella continue having fun? I said fun because obviously they were having fun. Um, do we get to see what's going to happen? Would they let them continue their relationship outside of the house? How was your Independence Day? Independence Day over the past weekend happened. And basically we wanted to just kind of make sure um, a lot of people were out there having fun and um, so many things happened at the same time. And we have the people from Obedient, the people from Emiloko. <laughs> it was just a whole bunch of things going on um, here and there. We don't know who the right candidate is, just so you know. But whoever you decide to vote for, just remember that you are a human being, the other person is human being. If they decide to vote for Emiloko and you decide to vote for Obedient, Hey, power to the people, right? But let's just make sure that while we are trying to pick the right candidate, we want to make sure that we're not fighting each other, we're not harming each other, and we're not doing things that we are trying to avoid doing. The next topic that we are discussing today is about our, our Tone for DK. She actually posted um, online asking people for prayer. She said, I don't ask for nothing at all. Not ashamed to say, I need you all. If you got a minute, say quiet prayer for me. My heart so heavy. Thanks. Love you all. Whatever it is that you're going through, we don't know, but you have actually cried to us and we'll try as much as possible to make sure that we rally run around you. So if you know her, if you don't know her, go to her page, send her some, you know, words of support, words of, um, that can encourage her. So that way, whatever she's going through, um, hopefully she gets out of it. And the last hot topic for today is Leke Adeboye kissing his wife in public. So there was a video that is actually trending and that video showed Pastor Adeboye's son, Leke, and his wife, and people in the background, I don't know if that's their congregation, basically they were encouraging them to kiss, kiss mommy Gio, kiss mommy Gio. <laughs> and obviously he did kiss, not only once, not only twice, but three times. All right, that's all we have for you. Until next time, see you. Don't forget to catch up with me, Elizabeth Amani, on Facebook, on YouTube at The Lazy Money Show. Thank you. Until then, see you next time. Bye-bye.